like not to overcook. It's like freshly dunk and then take it out and then have a bowl of vegetable plus your rice plus uh, your meat and your soup and it's so good. <laughs> Hi guys, today I can show you how to make soup base that you can put any type of leafy vegetable like spinach, baby bok choy, bok choy or even homegrown vegetable. So first you need to soak the glass noodle and the earwood mushroom. This one I soak it about 15 minutes in warm water and also you need to soak dry shrimp, dry squid. I'm gonna use ground pork mixed with dry shrimp and I also have this homemade meatball that I'm gonna put in there. It's gonna look really good while you're eating those type of vegetable and you need garlic, you need green onion. Okay so first I'm gonna prep the noodle and the earwood mushroom. Put these aside for now. Earwood mushroom they look like this when it's not hydrated it's dried and this one piece if you soak it in warm water for about 15 minutes it'll expand and expand by more than this one this one i only put a little bit and like it lots so first gonna cut it into thin strand thin strand like this after just turn it and then chop it this way so put that aside and for the glass noodle I soak it in warm water 10 to 15 minutes and you just have to cut it shorter and okay I'm gonna put this on the side for now put the earwood mushroom on one side to make the meat taste good you also need some green onion okay, I also have garlic put that on the side and for the dry squid if it has the bone here, uh, you can take it out. I took it out already. So now it's softer. After you soak the dry shrimp, I'm just gonna cut it like this. Okay. And for the dry shrimp, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put half, put half into the soup and then half into the meat. Cut it or chop it into small pieces. For the dry shrimp, you have to hydrate it at least 15 minutes in warm water but before you soak it make sure you clean it well first and then soak it with the clean water because if you don't soak it you cannot chop it in here i have one pound of ground pork i have some mint shrimp this is 50 grams and for the dry squid i'm gonna put it in here and for the water i'm gonna use it because the water tastes really good earwood mushroom about a couple pieces some earwood mushroom you can put as much as you like just put, just soak about this much and it expand that much. Just one bundle, like one small piece. Glass noodle, one small bundle. One stalk of green onion and also some garlic. About five to six cloves of garlic. Half teaspoon of chicken powder. One teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of fish sauce. And also one teaspoon of oyster sauce. Okay, now just mix well. It's best if you can mix it with the hand. Mix well until it becomes really sticky. Hmm, okay, it have a good smell. Okay, that's it. In the pot here is two liters of water. And I'll put one teaspoon of sea salt. One teaspoon of salt. Half tablespoon of chicken powder. And one teaspoon of sugar to balance the flavor one tablespoon of fish sauce and for the dry shrimp dry squid with the water pour everything in and watch for the bottom because sometimes it has some stuff that it's not good throw that away but obviously before you soak the dry shrimp and dry squid make sure to clean the dry squid and dry shrimp a couple of times before you use the clean water to soak it okay now let that boil use the technique that i already do to get that round shape just gonna squeeze it out. Use the thumb and the pointing finger. And then, can you squeeze it anymore? Just shape it and drop it in. I find this is the quickest way <laughs> to do it. You can save the other half and make it another batch tomorrow. At least your broth always seem like it look like fresh. It's not like leftover. So the next day you can have another batch of this type of soup with a leafy vegetable. And I have some homemade meatball. I'm going to put half of it and the other half I'm going to save it for tomorrow as well. Okay, now just bring it to boil. When you see it boiling, you see some foam, scoop them all out. 
You can lower the heat and let it cook on medium heat about 10 minutes. The broth or the soup base is done and you can add some of the fried garlic, homemade fried garlic. And if you have some green onion, you also can put green onion. I don't have any. I always use my last one, put it into the pork filling. Vegetable here is the leafy vegetable that my dad picked from his garden. It, it's like, a, I think it's baby mustard green. So anytime that you want to eat a whole batch of it, just put a handful like this. Put a handful like that. And then you'll see it that becomes soft really quickly. And then when it becomes soft, all you have to do is just scoop it out and put it into your bowl with the broth. And that's how you can consume so much vegetable. That's how my dad always have it. After you put it in about one minute, just scoop it back up. That's, this is how you can consume so much vegetable, like especially the green leaves. Put and scoop some broth. And then what I like to do, I just put a little bit of rice. <laughs> That's it. And this would be my breakfast. When you finish adding the vegetable, just turn off the heat and just let it sit like this. So when you are about to eat another batch, just turn up the heat, bring it to boil and then add another handful. So this way you always could have fresh, like not like too overcooked vegetable in here. Because it's the best or it has the best nutrient when the vegetable is like not too overcook it's like freshly dunked and then take it out and then have a bowl of vegetable plus your rice plus uh, your meat and your soup and it's so good so it's best if you can let it cool down a bit 